What's up guys, Half Chrome. Talking Emacs Baby Hawk today. I'm gonna tell you a couple of things that you're going to wanna do to get it set up right away. Uh, the first is the camera. Uh, it comes with some channels locked, right? We're gonna show you how to unlock those channels. We're also gonna show you how to switch uh, to 200 uh, milliwatts, which is a little bit better in terms of uh, being able to fly distance versus 25. I'll also show you how to set it up in beta flight uh, so that you can arm it from any angle. Um, and it doesn't come with a beeper, so we'll show you how to put a beeper on it uh, via the ESCs. Out of the box, this Emacs Baby Hawk has limited channels. They're locked uh, for shipping purposes. Um, and we can unlock those channels so you have more options. Right now I'm limited to six there, uh, but if I unplug it, and you'll see there's a little button uh, right there. I'm gonna press that down, plug it in, um, and when it turns back on, I'll have more channels. So, um, I let go, and now I see I have more than just that channel there. So I've got, uh, handful of extra channels um, but it's also currently just on 25 milliwatts as far as the BTX goes I want a little bit more power I can bump it up to 200 I do that by again pressing this button I'm gonna hold it until I see a little dot light up in the corner there we go and now I have a little bit more power coming out from that BTX hopefully that helped Okay, so once you have your uh, your quad connected uh, to the USB cable, uh, we're gonna open the BL Heli Configurator. Uh, we're gonna click Connect. Actually, before we can actually do that, you gotta plug your drone in. So um, let's connect the battery. Uh, we're gonna click Connect. You gotta click Read Setup. All right, and then right over here is what we're working on. Um, this beacon strength, right? These ESCs beep at you. You hear it when it powers up. Let's turn that all the way up. Um, so uh, that's done. And then the other thing that's important is beacon delay. Um, I like to set mine at a minute. So if, I, if it's sitting around for a minute, um, that means I probably crash, right? It starts beeping at me and I can find it. Um, or maybe I just forgot about it and I didn't unplug it because I was done flying. Also reminds me to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click right setup. Set up, right, and finished. Okay, easy enough. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect that. That's set. Um, about a minute from now, you're gonna hear it start beeping at me, which is uh, which is what we want. Uh, now we're gonna go into beta flight. You're gonna go into the CLI here, um, and you're gonna check your small angle, right? So let's get. get small angle and you can see that I've already I've already set mine to 180 right generally it's set to 20 degrees that means your uh, your quad needs to be pretty much level right before it can arm right if I set it to 180 I can arm it like this okay why would I want to do that I'm stuck in a tree up there I want it to shake free right I, I arm it and I get it going hopefully it falls out um, something that I would suggest how do you do that right so you're just going to Set small angle space equals space 180. Enter, right? And then save, and you're good. Okay? So, hopefully, that's helpful. Good luck, and uh, happy flying. Thanks for watching.